Hey everybody, it's Tina. This is the long-awaited video on baling our own hay. I'm getting ready to go out and cut some hay today and dry it and then we'll bale it. So I thought the first thing I'd show you would be the baler that we built. Now this is the schematic that I found online and really it's a pine straw baler. I don't know if any of you have seen any of those and it's from the Louisiana State University's website so I printed out a schematic and then this is the actual picture that they have on the website as well. Now what I did was I didn't follow their their directions exactly. They called for three-quarter inch OSB or plywood and uh, two by fours. What I used was uh, seven eighths OSB or 7 16 OSB and uh, 2 by 3s which made it much less expensive. I built the whole thing for less than $50. So what I did was I went through and I had to adjust all their measurements because I wanted to make it the same size, um, make the box the same size, but I had to make adjustments since my, my lumber was different. And then I drew out um, a schematic on graph paper as to how how I wanted to cut everything up and what my materials were and what the prices were so let's see it looks like I used nine two by three by eights and then a sheet of four by eight seven sixteenths um, OSB and then I have latches hinges the pin bolts all that so it in all it added up to less than fifty dollars and so then I also remarked on my picture so I could see what each uh, part looked like better and marked it and marked what I was going to be making that out of. I did use a couple 2x4s for the arm to press down um, but the rest was built out of 2x3s which saved me a lot of money. So anyway those are the schematics and the pictures and I will go ahead and put a link down below so that you can pull this up and look at this yourself if you want to build one. So now I'll take you out and show you what it actually looks like. Okay guys, so here is the baling box that we built last year from the plans that I showed you. Hopefully you can hear me through the wind. Um, this here is the plunger that, that compresses the hay into the box and the handle. That is made with 2x4s to make it stronger. And so how it works is you put the hay in and plunge it down more hay, plunge it down until it gets really packed, and then you hold it down really good. Now, down in the bottom, you can see there are some tracks down there with eye hooks. That holds the string at the bottom of the bale. And then here on the back, see these little nails? Those hold the string up while you're stuffing it. Then after you get it all full and stuffed full, you run those strings through these slots in the front and then there's just little latches to open the door and the bale comes out and you just stack them like you would normal hay bales and then you don't have to stack your your hay Maggie you don't have to uh, stack your hay loose so um, this is just where we hung I started with jute twine last year because I wanted it to be biodegradable, but it wasn't strong enough. So we ended up just in a pinch using some nylon and we've got our cutter hanging there. We did not put the wheels on like the plan shows. Um, it was just extra expense and just kind of a hassle. So what we did is this is our dolly. We just scoot the dolly under the end and then we've got straps here that we strap around the box when we move it out to the pasture when we're ready to bail. So that's what it looks like. That's how we bailed our some hay bales last year. We are hoping to get a little bit more done this year now that we've got this built and, and uh, we'll be able to get a couple cuttings. So we'll go ahead and show you us actually using it and cutting and bailing and all that good stuff later. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you later. Bye.